Hey guys, this is the tank about 44 hours after I treated the flatworm exit and um, it's kind of in a recovery stage. Um, a lot of the corals got irritated uh, during the testing. Um, basically what I did was, and I'll try to insert some video here, um, I kind of dosed the recommended amount uh, which was uh, 20 drops of flatworm exit for uh, 5 gallons so for my 30 gallon that was about 120 drops uh, immediately um, you know you started seeing the flatworms um, coming off and um, I did you know do some siphoning of flatworms before I started the process um, but I had no idea there were that many in the tank as you're going to see in the video um, so once they started to kind of you know fall off the rocks and become loose I basically turned on my MP10 power head to its maximum setting just to really get like some maximum flow to you know get the treatment every crevice in the tank and make it easier for the flatworms to be dislodged um, so I mean the, the, the process really went very well it, I, w I just was not prepared to see that many flatworms you know flying around my tank like it was in a tornado or something um, I have noticed that um, I'm missing like three fish my my three fire fish um, I noticed a couple of them were missing before I started the treatment and I'm thinking um, I may have had an alkalinity issue maybe the pH got too low um, because I did find out that my um, alkalinity uh, top off that is in my that's connected to my doser um, basically ran out and I never knew it so my when I tested my pH it was like at a 6 or not my pH my alkalinity was at a 6 uh, dkh and I normally keep it at about a 9 so um, I don't know maybe that was the reason why my I'm missing some firefish maybe they're behind the tank but uh, I'm not hopeful at this point I mean it's probably like four or five days since I've seen them so um, but other than that um, you know maybe possible loss of fish um, everything else seems to be good um, no signs of flatworm um, yet uh, of course it's way too early to declare victory on that um, but I, I as of right now I'm not really seeing any so the plan was to you know let the tank stand for about a week and then I do another dose of flatworm exit but I may not depending so um, still have that algae growing on the back wall which I believe is dinoflagellates and um, started to have a little more diatoms on the sand since the treatment I'm assuming probably because of you know some die off during the treatment process and um, one oh there's my uh, what's that called my, uh, my, mythrax uh, crab that nice red one pretty cool I love that crab basically like a emerald crab but like red um, yeah, one thing about the flatworm exit that I noticed is that it almost wiped, it basically wiped out the population of my mini starfish. Um, you know, those really, really tiny ones, not the brittle stars, but like the really, really small mini stars that are like in the crevices of rocks and in my overflow everywhere in the tank. Um, they seem to be very affected by the treatment of the flatworm exit. A lot of, I noticed a lot of them just kind of balled up and died off. So that was just kind of interesting. I don't recall seeing anything like that mentioned in the instructions. Um, but other than that, um, I mean, it's 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 hanging in there. Um, I just tested my phosphates. They're at about 0 0.06.06. Yeah, yeah, 0 0.06 which before I did the massive water change was uh, above 0 0.2 so it's about you know like a quarter of what it was before so I'm gonna that's the other issue I'm gonna have to start addressing um, down below my sump um, 
either start doing some kind of uh, phosphate media again but I'm not going to use a phosphate reactor I'm just going to start using you know like the putting in a bag or something or uh, boosting the light on my um, refugium to make my microalgae grow faster haven't decided yet but other than that um, everything seems to be okay um, that's my uh, bird of paradise that was tucked away in a corner in the back and I just kind of moved it towards the front a little bit more uh, since I have the real estate now that my elegance coral is no longer in the tank so so it's pretty much just a watch and see and uh, we'll see how the tank does from here I'll wait a couple more days see if I see any fish come back or um, I might decide um, I'm probably not going to go as many fish. Um, maybe I just add one more firefish and that's it. Um, I think what I had seven, um, more than, more than, plenty. So uh, maybe just keep it down to like four or five. Alrighty, guys. So that's the tank, and um, I'll talk to you soon, guys.